What's up gamers? This is NJG here with a pickups video for the month of June. So this is everything I picked up in the month of June. Now some of these things, like this box here, was ordered way in advance. Um, I just had to wait a long, long time to receive it. So let's see what's inside. Alright. Okay. The first thing we have inside is... Noki and the Legendary Alchemist. This is a spin-off title for the Atelier series. Now, I have a cart of this, but I didn't get the box cover, and I never did. And so, I have this already. I bought it really cheap, the game cart, but I was never able to find the, the box cover. So, I rebought it, and I have to um, sell the single case that I have, but I'll probably play it and then sell it, and then I'll have an open um, copy of this. The next game I got from Play Asia was the Atelier Trilogy. This is the Mysterious Trilogy. So this contains all the three games in the trilogy. I have this one singularly, but I don't have I didn't have these other two. So now I have all three. And I'm gonna play these in order. I gotta find out which is the oldest one of the triples that I have, and then I'll play those. So I guess there'll be no need for me to open the one I have of this. And then this one comes with a bonus soundtrack. CD and digital art book. I definitely love me a good Atelier game. They are really, really good games. At least the Ryza ones were. So I'm pretty confident I'm gonna love them. And then the last thing I got from Play Asia was the River City Girls. Now I had a chance to buy this from Limited Run and then didn't. I'm gonna get the Limited Run cover because the backside is in another language. Some of it, not all of it, but some of it. So I'm going to get um, the limited run um, replacement case for like $3 when I order the next time I order from limited run. But um, I definitely wanted to play this. I thought it was online multiplayer. When I found out it wasn't, I still still wanted it. So I picked it up. Um, so those are all my Play Asia. The next thing I have for you is Wonder Boy and the Dragon's Trap. Now, I bought this from eBay made the mistake and paid 55 thinking it was a good deal but nis america is selling it on their i mean nakalis on their website is selling this game for 30 dollars it did come with all the goodies which i enjoyed um doesn't look like this stuff was opened or touched um so it's really good condition but i kind of wish i would have just gotten it new and not um you know not used uh they put the sticker in the back where the the rating is um, but yeah, so I got this. Now I have the whole, all of the Wonder Boy games that came to the Switch. Um, so I'm excited about that. I think I will try to play these in order as well. The next game I got for you, I bought during a buy two, get one free sale. So the first one I bought was Cooking Mama. This is the one I got for free. Now, I hear that this game is not supposed to be in the retail stores. A long time ago, I don't know if they ever fixed the problem with the publisher, but um, I got it for, you know, uh, purposes, I, uh, collection purposes. I usually don't do that, but I will play it because it like, I want to know why this game wasn't supposed to be released, so I will play it. So this was the free one, so there's that. Um, the one that I did get, that it's going to be a hard um, play for me because this is just like Transistor. It looks like it plays like Transistor. Um, this is Hades and it's from the same publisher um it looks like it plays the same way and i could not beat transistor but transistor was so good the music and stuff i really wish i need to give it another try uh so i can play this one after um or well i've already played transistor so i don't even know if i have to go back to it but uh hades i hate won so many game of the year awards so i hear it's really really good and i like greek mythology um the next one i got at target was actually when Target was having two games for $30. Now I have Pikmin 3 um, for the Wii U, but I don't own a Wii U, so there was be no way for me to play it. So I wanted it on a playable console, and $30, the price was right at $30. Um, I also bought another game that hasn't come in, and it was supposed to be delivered alongside this one, but didn't, and so I guess I'll have to wait for that. The next game I got, is a physical of Minecraft. Now, 
I have been playing Minecraft with you all, but that's a digital copy, and I'm, uh, it's my son's digital copy, and we can only figure out how to play two of us, and so I wanted my daughter to play with us, so I bought a copy so she can play with us, and so now I have a physical, and he has his digital, and whoever, whenever we want to play the three of us together on our own Switches, we can. And the next game I have for you here is Overwatch. Now, I did an unboxing of this already on my channel. Um, what can I say about Overwatch? Uh, I am I'm start. I'm trying to like it. Is what I can say. It's giving me a hard time. I didn't like how Blizzard set it up that you can play the first day, no problem. But as soon as you turned off the switch system, you had to uh, log into their Blizzard system. It was just a whole nightmare of a mess took me about an hour to figure out and I didn't like that but uh so I am playing this I'm still playing it with AIs right now um I'm waiting to be good enough to play with other people and the next game on my list is God Eater 3 I wanted to surprise Bubble in this video with this we are probably going to be playing this as soon as she finds out I own it um yeah I bought it to play with her exclusively um and so I did not know, again, that this game was based on an anime. I am not gonna watch the anime for this one, unfortunately. I just wanna play the game without having to stop and watch an anime. I hear it plays exactly like Monster Hunter, and since I beat Monster Hunter, at least the base game, um, the link, uh, link will be in the description up above for the, review, uh, for the review video when it comes out. Since I beat Monster Hunter, I wanted to play a different kind of game, and this is another one of those kind of games. And the last thing I got, now I did not pay for this. This was free at GameStop. I saw them on the thing and I was like, wow, you guys are still selling those for um, $29.99? And she was like, no, nah, we're actually giving those away. I was like, okay, great, I'm gonna go grab one. Cause I never got me a strategy guide, but um, I always wanted one, but I never got one. So now I have a strategy guide. It, it says it includes the map of the region and a bookmark so I'll have at least the map of the region even though I finished the game and have already reviewed it I do like to look at the books look at the art because I really really was a fan of Pokemon Sword and Shield I know not a lot of people were but I was all right guys those are all my pickups for the month of June I do have some that are ordered that still haven't come in that I ordered in June not like my limited run games that we know aren't coming for a while but that were supposed to be here and uh, you will see those in the next month's video when they arrive. Also, don't forget to let me know what you picked up this month and what games you are looking forward to next month for picking up. Thanks for watching, guys. Happy gaming. Bye.